Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today's video is about geography extensions. So how do you build upon maybe the geography curriculum that you're using or um, build in a geography lesson? Uh, the first thing I want to say is that, uh, you know, start with atlases. There are a lot of children's atlases. Some of these are quite beat up. I love to shop old uh uh, use book sales in bookstores, um, but they might have some basic facts about the locations. Um, some of them are certainly more detailed. Um, you can definitely order things online, but we'll cover some of that information there about the countries, the continents. Um, this one here is specific to the United States. And so it goes into a lot more detail on each particular um, state. So finding some atlases and just looking through and reading interesting facts, maybe you just um, do a page uh, every so often, or when something comes up, you, you look up a particular continent or country or state. The other thing is workbooks. Um, both of these I got from Target, like in the dollar bin. Um, but one is the United States. And so it has um, tracing and dot to dots and a little activity for each state. Um, one is countries around the world. So again, writing and one little activity about it. Um, just a way to introduce um, some of those locations. And then you can find them on a map or find them on a globe. Um, this was something that I downloaded from education.com and it's a name the state game, but they're trivia facts for each state. So we are planning on learning, reading one, um, and then going through and then playing the game once we've kind of got through all of them. But, you know, just learning a couple at a time. And then this is from Scholastic. And this has the maps of the different states. And therefore, then you could um, do something specific to a state and you've got the visuals for that. So books, workbooks, those types of things you may be able to find at secondhand stores or in the dollar bin at Target and um, work from there. It's, it's a supplement, right? It's something you can add on. Another thing would be when you're reading stories in the literature, when they mention places, you can pause or you can go back to it later and say, hey, that story was about somebody who lives in New York. Let's go look up where is New York City. Let's find it on the map. Let's learn about it. The internet's a great resource, um, finding information about particular places. And so you can look up those locations as they come up in stories that you're reading. Also um, authors, right? So maybe it's a fiction story or it's not listing a particular location. Um, you can learn about the author and where they were and learn about their hometown. Um, you can learn about your own um, town and build up from there. Your town, your community, your state, your country, et cetera, et cetera, and move back up that way. Another thing that we're doing is pen pals. Um, we have reached out to people um, online to set up pen pals with similar aged kids. And so therefore we are doing pen pals. And when we hear from a pen pal, we are marking it on the map where that person is located and making some comparisons. And then that can also lead to questions that we might ask in our letters back and forth about you know, their weather and their climate and their activities activities and what, you know, what they're doing, what their um, locations are like. Finally, another one is looking at your family. Um, if you have family that live in other locations further away from you, not in your same town, then that would be another way. You could either do it, you know, online or um, via mail where you are corresponding with them and learning more about their location. Um, or you can just mark where members of the family live. Additionally, and 
um, this might be something geared a little bit more towards older kids or kids that have that interest, but looking at um, family tree, um, your ancestry and where your family may have um, come from, those may be a good way to incorporate the geography. Um, you know, yes, we're here in this state, but mom was born in this state, dad was born in that state, our parents were born in other states, um, they grew up here, your grandparents were here, your great grandparents were here, and you know, maybe we can track it back a few generations or further. Um, or if anybody does those like um, uh, DNA uh, ancestry tracking type things, they can tell you, you know, geographically where your family was um, origin, wh where your family's origin is. And so then you can look into that and learn more about that area. So these are some ideas to uh, have some geography extensions, some ways to incorporate geography into your homeschool and to make it relevant and interesting for your learner. If you have any other ideas, please feel free to share them. And thanks.